Media Bay of Plenty, bringing you a national and international update. This is One Double X News. In this update, the Easter weekend road toll has risen to four following a crash near Rotorua this morning. Shannon Johnstone reports. The weekend's latest fatality happened on State Highway 5 south of Rotorua this morning. The two-vehicle crash happened around 5 o'clock. A second person has serious injuries and the road will be closed for some time. Three people died in a crash at Pukaki yesterday afternoon. It was part of a horror afternoon on the stretch of road between Tekapo and Twizel with another three-vehicle crash 90 minutes later, leaving one seriously injured. One person died on the country's roads over Easter last year. Firefighters have been kept busy in Auckland. Crews are monitoring a bushfire at Kawakawa Bay, which at one point burnt through 12 hectares. They also have been at the scene of a fire in a factory unit in the suburb of Hillcrest. They were called to Parity Place around 2 this morning. Signs of declining career ambition across generations. A frog recruitment poll asked more than a 1,000 New Zealand workers about their primary work motivation and whether they're happy climbing the career ladder. It found just 18% of Gen Z and millennial workers are putting their career ambitions first. Managing Director Shannon Barlow says they expected it to be higher. But then again, maybe it's a, a sign of the tighter job market now that people are happy to have work. Maybe that stability is more important than that focus on going up the ranks quickly. And more businesses are offering employees flexible working hours. Stats NZ data shows four out of five businesses surveyed are offering flexibility and two out of five offer employees the option to work from home. Stats NZ business performance manager Ricky Ho says larger businesses are more likely to offer flexible work. We don't specifically ask for reasons on this, but I imagine that larger businesses have more resources and infrastructure to support this option. I'm Kay Gregory and that's news. One double X Sports News. In sport, the Hurricanes will hit their Super Rugby Pacific by top of the ladder, but with a major injury worry. Halfback Cam Roygaard looks likely to be sidelined for a period of time after suffering a left knee injury against the Highlanders in their 47 12 triumph in Dunedin. Paul Coles locked in his semi-final spot at the London Squash Classic with a two games to one win over England's George Parker. He faces Joel Macon in the semis. Son Hyung Min's 86-minute winner has helped Tottenham get their Champions League qualification hopes back on track with a 2-1 home victory over Luton. The result dropped Luton into the bottom three after Nottingham Forest took a point at home to Crystal Palace, while all-white striker Chris Wood scored the equaliser in a one-all result. That's sport. One double X Met Service Weather. Fine today with southwesterlies easing this evening. For tomorrow it's fine with southerlies easing early. And for Tuesday it's fine with light winds. Looking at the forecast for sea area plenty today. Southerly 25 knots, easing to 15 knots this afternoon, and to variable 10 knots this evening. That's rough sea easing with a southeast swell one metre offshore. For tomorrow and also Tuesday. A variable 10 knots. The next high tide today is between 11.30 and 12.30 this afternoon and we're going for a high today of 23 degrees with an overnight low of 7. This is your radio station, 1XX.